In 1808, English natural philosopher John Dalton stated that atoms were the smallest unbreakable unit of matter, and that was the beginning of atom theory. By 1900, most scientists have accepted that matter was made up of atoms, but they had found evidence showing that atoms were not the smallest indivisible unit of matter. There were many atom models around, but the plum pudding model was the most promising. According to the plum pudding model, the mass of the atom and the positive charges are evenly distributed in a sphere with radius around one angstrom. An angstrom is ten to the negative tenth meter. To make the atom neutral, negatively charged electrons would be embedded in the sphere like plums in the pudding. By the way, I think you do need to know that the size of an atom is about ten to the negative tenth meter. Then J.J. Thomson, through his study of cathode rays, discovered the electrons by measuring the charge to mass ratio of electrons in 1897. Thomson suggested that the electrons in the plum pudding model should be moving. He tried various configurations of electrons in an atom, for example, with shells of rotating electrons, but none of these could produce a stable equilibrium. Neither could Thomson explain the observed discrete line spectra produced by different elements. Then, in 1911, there was yet another breakthrough of atom model. We will discuss this breakthrough in our next lesson.